Good Monday, makers, and welcome back to another episode of Maker Pipe Monday. This is our weekly build showcase series where we round up projects from the community to give ideas and inspiration. This week, we're looking at an awning frame reinforcement, a truck bed extender, a laser cart, a greenhouse, and a dust collection cart. So there's a lot of great projects. Let's jump right in and check them out. First up is this awning frame reinforcement from Hammy. And this is a, an awning. It looks like it's freestanding. They wanted a way to secure it. So you can see they added some reinforcement here, 45 degree connectors that kind of go in the corner. You don't see the other side, but I would imagine there's something similar on the other side. But to actually attach this to the house, instead of drilling into the plaster, um, they used a T-connector to add a vertical on the top part of the awning frame, and it sends it up to the roof. Then they use an adjustable angle flange to match the angle of the pitched roof, and then to secure the frame uh, to the roof and the wood beam there. You can see they added some screws through the flange into the wood beam. So that's a really smart way to add reinforcement and to secure the awning, the frame to the house without drilling into the plaster. So that's a great project. Thanks so much, Tammy, for sharing that. Next up is a question in the community from S. Drew. And they asked if anybody has built a conduit framed greenhouse with polycarbonate panels attached. And a few people shared some inspiration and ideas. Uh, and Garrett also posted his greenhouse in there as well. You can see that it's kind of a unique greenhouse. So he dug out this channel here. And I would imagine the garden sits back here. And then they used a conduit and maker pipe to add the framework kind of around the outside of the channel. And you can see as they you kind of walk farther into the underground greenhouse, you know, the roof gets lower to the ground. They incorporated some nice bins. And then what's really interesting is how they did the greenhouse kind of framework for the plastic. So not only did they do the frame with maker pipe, but they added cattle panels on top of the framework and then used greenhouse plastic on top of that, which is a really smart way to do that and a good way to kind of keep the keep the plastic elevated and have the whole thing be rigid because cattle panels are really strong and a really great material, especially for stuff like this. Thanks so much, Garrett, for sharing that. And if you have a project or a greenhouse with conduit and polycarbonate panels, definitely uh, check out their post and maybe post your build. I think it would be great uh, to get some more inspiration from that. Thanks so much, S. Drew, for the question and Garrett for sharing that. We love seeing it. Next up is a project from a fellow Jake. Make with Jake on YouTube has a great YouTube channel and he recently built this cart for his laser. So he said it was taking up a lot of space on his workbench. He wanted a way to kind of roll it around and kind of get it off his workbench. So he made this really cool cart and you can see the whole thing uh, uses conduit and maker pipe. Here's kind of an in progress shot. You can see the mini model, uh, but he's using 90 degree connectors to make the, the basic cube structure. And then there's T connectors going across uh, to brace it. And then he made some shelves using some really nice finished wood there. And he cut that to size. And then he's using the one hole strap flipped over, which allows for an easy kind of pop up or pop off top that you can do using one hole straps. And that's really cool. Added three total shelves there. And then he actually custom 3D printed some clips to attach this backing board to the back here uh, of the car, which is really cool. And he added casters on the whole thing. And here's kind of a finished picture of the whole car. And it's a really great project. I really appreciate Jake doing this uh, build. And he also made a great video. So definitely check out that. It'll be linked below. Uh, or you can find it in the community. Thanks so much, Jake, for doing that. We love seeing it. Next up is a project from Carmen, and this is a, a DIY dust collection cart. You can find a lot of tutorials out there for making uh, DIY dust collection systems with shop backs and buckets, and that's what Carmen did, but you don't really find a lot out there, at least I didn't see anything, about making a cart or an easy way to move around the bucket and the whole system that you've kind of created. Uh, but what Carmen did was really smart. You can see there on the back of the shop back, let's see, there's a photo here of the axle. So this is the axle on the back of the shop back, and she just shimmed it down to a 45 and then connected conduit to the back and made this kind of trailer of sorts, we'll call it. Um, and you can see there's casters on the back, and then this front part is connected to the shop back. And then she just made a, a really simple cart, you know, using, it looks like four 90 degree connectors and a few T connectors, uh, maybe eight 90s just to make a, a cube or rectangle structure. Um, but it's really simple. Then there's a piece of wood just to hold the bucket. There Carmen is with her creation. And then the bucket just sits on that wood platform, as you can see here. And just a really great project. Really cool. Carmen, thanks so much for sharing that. We love seeing it. Next up is a project from Michael. 
and this is a truck bed extender that he recently shared with us for his uh, Toyota Tacoma. He said the truck bed extenders that he found were around $280, but he built this one for $180, and you can see uh, it looks like he used 369 12 total connectors. There's 90 degree connectors in the back here that kind of make the, the back framework go and then send the pipes forward, and then there's T connectors here. So you can see it's being used as a truck uh, as an extender here, if you're not familiar with what that means, you know, it allows you to kind of open the tailgate and then you have this extension here. So now you have all this extra space in here to actually haul longer things uh, and just gives you more space uh, to move stuff around. Um, what was really cool is the fact that the, the D rings here in the truck had just enough of an opening that he could get the conduit down in there and, you know, attach it there so it would hold it. And then he secured the rest of it with looks like bungee cords, maybe some ratchet straps too would work well. Um, but that allowed him to, you know, have this extender and then can also turn it around and use it as a kind of a, a barrier uh, to keep things from sliding around. So once you close the tailgate here, you know, you can use this framework, put a bunch of cord around this container uh, or keep filling it up here. Um, but it keeps stuff from sliding around, which is another another neat way to, to kind of haul stuff around in the truck and a, a really great solution. Thanks so much, Michael, for sharing that. Glad you saved some money and got what you were looking for. That's really great. That's all the builds I have for you this week. We appreciate everybody sharing their ideas and their builds. We love seeing it. We love doing these episodes and videos. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.